Boy, if I spit on your tune, I'll boss it. What's going on guys, Cameron Fitness here and I'm back with chest training episode 2. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video a like because it does help the growth of the channel. So this video is going to be focusing on your overall chest development and your chest is just your pec muscle and it's split into three different sections which is your upper, middle and your lower. So good development in your upper chest makes your chest look nice and fuller, especially when you're wearing a t-shirt, it just makes it pop out more. Good development of the middle of your chest just gives you that overall aesthetic chest look and good development of your lower chest gives you that good sculpted under pec look. Just as a side note, there's no specific way to develop your inner chest, so to develop that sort of cleavage which makes your chest look bigger. So ideally you just need to develop your overall chest and increase that muscle mass so eventually your chest will look bigger. So I'm going to be taking you through three different cable exercises to hit all sections of the chest and if the gym's a little bit busy you can just stick on the cables and you can get more or less your full workout done there. So we're going to start off with high flies, I'm going to adjust the cables to the top position you're going to go down on your knees and you're going to bring the cables down, keeping it nice and close to your chest. So this specifically targets your lower chest and you can feel the stretch as you bring your arm up. All the lower pec is stretching in comparison to the rest of it. So the next exercise is going to be standing flies and this is just going to be for your overall chest development. So you're going to keep your chest nice and buffed out, bring the fly in, nice big squeeze of your chest and then when you bring it back down, you're going to have a little bend in your elbows but you're going to keep that chest buffed out. So you're not putting any strain on your shoulder but you get that massive stretch on your pec. Then the final one for your upper chest is going to be the low pec flies. So you're going to adjust the cable, pull it right the way to the bottom. You're going to keep your elbows nice and tucked in. You're going to bring the cable up. And again, it's going to be a nice big squeeze and then slowly bring it down. But as you adjust your arm and pull it back like that straight away, you can feel that massive stretch and that massive pull on your upper chest. So as I've said in my previous video, I'm a massive fan of the cables just because it increases that time under tension and no matter what point in the movement you are, you've always got tension on your chest. And again, because it's an isolation exercise, you don't really need to be pushing too heavy so you can increase your rep range to 12 to 15 and make sure you're getting that metabolic stress. The massive benefit to this is that all three exercises can be done on one station. So again, it saves time moving about and like I said, if it's a busy gym, you don't really want to be spending an hour, an hour and a half in the gym. You want to keep your time there to a minimum. Unless you're me, you spend like two hours every yeah. single session. <laughs> Unless you want to be a big machine. <laughs> so here are some highlights from the session. So guys, that is the end of episode 2 of your chest training. Uh, if you haven't checked out episode 1, make sure you do go and check it out. And once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video with a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Oh god, I've got such a headache. Oh. Roll to the outro.